All right, let's see if this works. Reporting live from 102 with Lou. It's live from last week. Episode 102. Let's go. Welcome, my fellow Jay Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless book before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Starting off, a quick update with my smartwatch situation and how my old Samsung Gear smartwatch stopped working after I got back from my trip in Cuba. The wife had gifted me her old Fitbit smartwatch to use to count my daily steps. And as you guys can see by my post night shift nap data, it will keep track of my sleep or lack thereof. But continuing on, the wife got these beautiful wedding anniversary flowers, similar to the bouquet that she held in her hands for a wedding just over a year ago. Placing them with this display for our anniversary and this beautiful gift of the constellation map of her wedding night that she gifted me just last week. Also this evening, along with a couple of friends who we celebrated their wedding with last year, we went to the local Gyukaku Japanese barbecue restaurant for amazing ace barbecue with Andrew and Jake to catch up and celebrate both of our belated wedding anniversaries, as well as a belated birthday for the wife. And recalling the surprise birthday cake that I got for the wife yesterday. Okay. Happy birthday to me. I had my family witness this event on a conference call so that the wife had some people to sing her a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Okay, make a wish and blow out the candle. Candle blow. Yay! We also had the surprise of having the fire alarm go off in the condo as you guys Cheesecake. can see here. Blueberry. Oh! Okay, alarm's going off. <laughs> and keeping on with the birthday theme, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. We got a birthday greeting to one of my sister's friends who, while I was in Lake Louise last winter, I unfortunately wasn't able to meet up with. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. Next, a birthday greet to one of the wife's friends who I'm remembering going for sushi with back at 168 Sushi. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alquin. Happy birthday, Alquin. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my cousin Ray's friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Neil. Happy birthday, Neil. Next on deck, a birthday shout out to one of my university friends who I see as being athletically inspiring, keeping up with her fitness. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Gemma. Happy birthday, Gemma. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of our FSAT friends who we've enjoyed good times with in previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Liza. Happy birthday, Liza. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my cousins out there who has made several cameos in Live From Last Week episodes in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Faye. Happy birthday, Faye. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, yesterday we got some big news. An Ontario court has struck down a bill that limited the wages for public sector workers just like me, which capped our wage increases or raises to only 1% every year. And with the cost of everything going up and the rise of inflation of over 6% over the past year, honestly, it was getting more and more difficult to afford things. And it was like we were getting a pay cut year after year. So we're all just hoping in the near future that us healthcare providers will finally be compensated appropriately, at least to adjust to the recent rise in inflation. But anyways, speaking of work, tonight I'm going in for my first of my three scheduled night shifts. But before I do, even though we don't have any birthday greetings for today, I just have a belated birthday greeting to a special Jay Walker POV viewer out there who I'm recognizing right now because they watch live from last week, week in and week out. This belated birthday greeting goes out to you, Marva. Happy belated birthday. I'm hoping that at this time you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you celebrated your birthday to the fullest earlier 
this year. First of all, I want to welcome y'all to a new month. Happy December, guys. So this morning, after getting off a very busy and stressful night shift, where I came in at 7 p.m., yet left work after quarter after 8 this morning, recalling these scenes from a previous Live From Last Week episode, I put an emergency stash in my cup holders in the mini, just in case I need to get to it if I have a difficult night shift the night before. Guess who once again went to my stash and pulled out out of my pocket this stress reliever of a treat. My trusty old stressful night shift chocolate bar. Which, as you guys can see, I'll be keeping in the mini until further notice. But yeah, today, after getting a decent post-night shift nap, I watched the highlights of Canada's last 2022 World Cup match against Morocco. Which unfortunately, guys, wasn't our best result, eventually losing the game 2-1. Anyways, before I go in for my second of my scheduled three night shifts tonight, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after my second busy, stressful night shift in a row, once again, I had to dip into my stressful post-night shift chocolate stash, but this time on the morning commute, I had some assistance from the co-pilot in the mini. And guys, judging by the stressful night shifts I've had in the past couple of nights, I'm having a feeling that my stash will be depleted sooner than later. But anyways, onto my post-night shift nap, where, once again, I'm able to utilize the wife's Fitbit watch, and I'm amazed about all the features that it has to record my sleep patterns. For example, check this out. It can tell when I'm awake, when I'm lightly sleeping, and when I'm dreaming in REM sleep. But anyways guys, I'm pretty excited to go in for my third of my three night shifts for the fact that when I get off in the morning, I'll be able to have a full weekend off of work. So it's time to commute downtown for my last shift and I'll catch up with you guys again in less than 24 hours. Guys, after doing my fifth shift in six nights, a shift where I was redeployed to another unit and put in in charge duties, I arrived home this morning only to have this happen. Showering, showering, post night trip, showering, 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 but what the heck? Yo, where did all the lights go? That's right guys, there was a power outage right in the middle of my stress relieving morning shower. But to cope afterwards, I decided to feast and finish up the rest of the wife's birthday cheesecake that you can see right here. After my busy night shifts and my shower power outage mishap, telling myself that I deserve this. And after finishing that whole cheesecake while on a video call with my family, I was only able to sleep for a measly 80 minutes before taking the wife to lunch at a nearby newly renovated Burger King restaurant. Having BK for the first time since before the pandemic. And afterwards, I was able to drop off the wife to work a wedding coordinating event at the beautiful and historic Graydon Hall Manor, which was also actually a venue that the wife had in mind to host our wedding last year. Anyways, I'm currently in the Jane Dundas area to catch a Saturday night Catholic Mass vigil for the first time at the local St. James Catholic Church. With set plans later this evening, recalling this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, Megan Glover! Jeremiah! I miss you! It's been a long time. Meeting up outside of work with my former co-worker Megan once again and having our yearly holiday get together for the first time since before the start of the pandemic. So shout outs again to Aziz, Susan and Shree for hanging out as well as a special thank you to both Lee and Megan for hosting a great event last night. Anyways, on to today, the wife and I went to a local staple store for the first time in over a year to pick up, as you guys can see here, a couple of packages, which actually held our long overdue wedding thank you cards from last year. We then went to my Tita Ot and Tito Jesse's place to meet up with my parents and have some lunch and have some quality time with my nephew Gabby. Gabby, what the heck is this? What character are you? 
ready. Steady. Fight. Hey, I see somebody red. <laughs> oh, somebody's red. You lose. We were also able to use my watch to see just how excited my nephew Gabby was while he was playing with us. 124, 123. Your heart rate's so high, man. You're stressed. Get some water. And afterwards, I met up with my cousin Lou of the one and only Lou's Reviews to check out a movie at a movie theater that I haven't been to since the times before the pandemic. 401 Morningside Theater with Lou! Yo, what movie are you gonna watch? Die Hard with Santa Claus. <laughs> AKA Violet Knight. Let's go check it out. But before the movie started, I did see the cousin being a little bit suspicious. My friend takes it. Reminder, call Dr. Chow. Ask your doctor or visit ozempic.ca. <laughs> and once we were able to locate our seats, just telling by these reactions here, the cousin Lou and I really enjoyed this action-packed holiday movie. And after developing an appetite and buying this mysterious, kind of sketchy sushi from Walmart, we got back to 102 to eat, drink, and hang out for a little bit before saying bye to the niece and wrapping up this busy day. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Whoa, look at this hair. All right, now that I'm over it, time to get on with today's segment. So after a decent six hours of sleep last night, waking up at about 6.39 a.m., I did a morning commute and drove downtown to pick up the wife from her night shift. Then we did our morning grocery shopping, being quite surprised with things like my special banana chocolate chip muffins that were this price in March, have prices blown up to almost 25% more than they were at that time. Anyways, once we made our way home, we cooked up something for breakfast that I haven't had in such a long time. With first, a quick shout out to Bradshaw. Today, for breakfast, we had this delicious fried Spam. And after finishing up eating, I continued on with this busy day, making my classic homemade beef stew in the crock pot. I was also able to start off my baby Rouge to make sure that she still works. And also, after receiving this surprise notification on the dashboard of the Mini, I brought my car to the place where I got my brakes done only a couple weeks back. And the good thing is, is that they assured me through a thorough inspection that the brakes were okay and that the brake sensor just needed to be reset free of charge. And so with my mind at ease, I was able to go back home and catch a game or two of the World Cup. They are so good. And to finish off the day activities for today, before I go back in tonight for another set of night shifts, on this cold windy day, I decided to go to the cemetery and visit my Lilla V on her anniversary. Good afternoon, Lilla V. Just want to say it's JJ coming and visiting you on my monthly visit. Also wanted to say that I've got a couple of gifts for you on this, your fifth year anniversary of when you left us and you left this world. Got a quick gift for you. Our loved ones leave the world, but not our hearts. Your loved one is a part of who you are, of how you see the world, of how you live and give. Those priceless gifts are yours forever. It's been five years since you left us and the world. We miss you, we're thinking about you, and we love you, Lala V. Love Jay and the family. All right, here you go, Lala V. Till next time, Lala V. Anyways, guys, it's time to go in for my night shifts and wrap up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out.
And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.